Hey guys, today we get to talk a little bit more about MTG Finance and buying collections from eBay or Craigslist or something like that. And here we have a guy who bought a collection for $5,200. He was in the video, he was talking about how he was going to scam and how he was going to get you know, so much value from the collection because the seller didn't know what he was selling. He referred to mountains as green cards and blue cards and things that a magic player would not refer to in the modern age. So he believed this collection, and I still believe it, comes from a player who quit the game a long time ago. Now, the cards had a mox. It had a mox as well as some other valuable cards which you can see in the first box, there were some cards sleeved. The cards that were sleeved in hard cases were actually not valuable. So this guy thought, hey, I'm gonna bid $5,200 based on the assumption that I'm going to find multiple Power 9, multiple uh, extremely valuable cards, hey, maybe even a Summer Magic card. Well, what it turned out was all the good cards were pictured and there was nothing of value. It was just old stuff that a regular normal player would have. So he spent $5,200 on a collection with a half dozen dual lands, a couple of force of wills, and a mox. He's been talking about getting a refund, which I disagree with. He took the risk. He didn't know what was in it. If the collection had multiple mo uh, black lotuses, he would not refund the seller. He would take it to the bank and laugh all the way to the bank. So this is the mind state of MTG Finance. They want to be greedy. They want to take advantage of people. And when it turns out poorly for them, then they blame the seller, right? It's a gamble. It's like opening a booster pack in my opinion. But I would love to see what you guys believe of it. Should he get a refund from it? Or should the seller just keep the money? I guess at the end of the day, it is up to eBay and probably up to how the seller described it. But from what I read, it looks like a pretty good collection. It looks like a pretty good description of the collection. Nothing was promised. So MTG Finance at its very best is trying to be greedy and take advantage of a certain situation, be it the market or be a person. And a lot of times it doesn't work out. I applaud him for having the guts to make a video about it because most people in his situation after spending $5,200 and looks like he's married from the video, I would not make the video because his wife might look at it and be like, holy crap, you spent $5,200 and maybe at best you recovered a thousand, maybe $2,000 at best via buy list. But absolutely one of the worst MTG finance moves I've ever seen, if not the worst instantly losing at least 3200 if not more than that from what he can sell it currently today anyway uh, that's it and that's what happens when you get greedy is sometimes it doesn't work out for you but i am glad he made the video so we can talk and discuss uh, our failures as much as with the cards like Falia and malera i want to talk about what cards i didn't succeed in and i think that's incredibly valuable to paint the picture that MTG Finance, the only people who make money from it are the people who charge subscription, the people who write for paywalls. That's the only people who really truly make money from MTG Finance. Anyways, that's it. Bye guys.